Hi everyone, this is Becky with Becky's Feather Nest and this is a video on how I uh, organize my laundry room. When I set it up, I wanted it to perform three different functions. One, obviously, the laundry and two, um, house the other um, household cleaning items and three, to accommodate my pets. Uh, so that's I have it set up uh, to serve those purposes and I'm going to show you kind of how I do that. The first thing you might notice is yes, I have a top loading washer front-loading dryer and um, the only reason I have that is because when I bought these new three years ago um, they were having trouble with the front-loading washing machines causing odor I know they have that all taken care of now but uh, that's why I did that and um, I'm okay with that it works well for me and uh, onward hope so let me show you how I have it set up it's kind of an assembly line type procedure for me over here are all of my sorting bins for the laundry Right here is my washer, um, so I can get my clothes from here, put them into the washer, then into the dryer, and then over here to the folding and hang hanging area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so let me come over here and kind of show you some of the little tips that I use when washing. One, um, I can reach my laundry bins and dump them straight in here. I like to keep my washer and dryer clean and, um, you know, just take good care of it so that it lasts a long time. They are expensive when you purchase new machines but one of the things these uh, the, this is the barrel and it wobbles around and uh, lint kind of catches up here and then of course it stays soggy because it's a moist area and I don't want that causing odors plus it looks yucky so um, I usually once a week to once in once every other week is um, wipe all this down I wipe out the rim and the barrel and just kind of basically all over um, the area here and just give it a good cleaning and then I also have my laundry soap located right next to it in just a decorative tin with my whoops scoop here and uh, that sort of thing. Above here I do have some extra um, laundering items which I'll show you inside here in just a minute. But um, from this uh, spot here, obviously from the washer, we go to the dryer. And I also like to have things located close to it and easy um, to get to. So I keep my dryer sheets in a decorative basket right here on top. I grab one, throw it in. Um, when the laundry, when the load is done, I um, put the used laundry uh, sheet, fabric sheet, in this trash can, which is in a little decorative basket, artificial plant, and it's just set inside, um, just kind of a little decorative type um, setup. But um, what I do when the load is done, I take my dryer sheet and I wipe out the little mesh lint trap here. And then I throw the lint and the dryer sheet into that trash can up there. And then um, when I do the wiping down of my washer and dryer uh, every week or so, I will also get a tool that attaches to my vacuum hose and um, clean out uh, this little crevice here that also collects lint. So um, it's just a little tool. It didn't come with the vacuum. It's one of those as seen on TV type things. It's basically a little rubber hose. and attaches to it and it's real flexible and kind of gets in there and, and does a good job that way. But uh, that's what I do after um, the laundry load is done. I will clean the lint trap and um, I take the clothes from straight from the dryer into this uh, drawer. A lot of, uh, if you have a front loader, you know that a lot of them um, have this little base here with the drawer. Uh, a lot of people tend to put uh, extra soap and um, other cleaning supplies and things in there. I don't use that for that. I use it as my dryer basket so that I can go on to my next step. So I unload all the clothes into here and then I close. It's kind of my laundry basket, I guess you would call it. And uh, I close my door there and I walk to the other side, which is has taken me two steps. And I can take start pulling my clothes out from here to my folding table. I fold the clothes, put them into these baskets here. We each have a basket. My husband and I share one because it goes to the same closet and then my kids have um, one of their own and then I hang the clothes that need to be hung straight above uh, their basket right here. This is a Alpha type um, shelving. It's not Alpha but uh, it's from Home Depot. It's very similar. It does come in white only and um, of course that wasn't going to work for me in this room so I did, you guess it. Um, sprayed it with my favorite oil rubbed bronze paint from Rust-Oleum. Uh, so if you want uh, something similar to this, I'm afraid you're going to have to uh, spray paint your own shelving. I'm so sorry um, that I can't be there to do that for you. Um, the other thing is this table here that my husband um, built for me. I told him exactly what I wanted. 
This is by no means a custom or fancy cabinet. Uh, it's not even a cabinet. It's my folding table. But I told him I wanted just a simple table to fold the clothes on and to disguise where um, I'm going to show you here my to accommodate my pets. But um, I have to say uh, that it uh, works really well for me. So I don't know if I'll ever do anything as far as a custom cabinet or not. So... Um, this may be here for a while. This um, is the area typically in a home they the builder will put an area in your laundry room to put a freezer in. Um, one, I'm not a big enough cook to uh, need a freezer. Um, if I were, I would have had them put an area in my pantry as opposed to my laundry room to me. Um, that doesn't make sense. I know a lot of people have them in their laundry room because that's where builders put them. Um, and, and so I'm not uh, knocking anybody who has a freezer in their laundry room. But to me, um, a builder, any architects out there, if you're listening, please put this space in the pantry or, or somewhere um, accessible to the kitchen area. <laughs> okay, just one of my little hang-ups. Um, this area folds down. It's held on magnetically. And my dog is pad trained, so her tray and pads are there. And then my cat is over there, and they each have the opening at each end to get into their areas there. Okay, so that's what that's for, um, to, you know, just to disguise that um, ugliness. On the back side over here, this is the door that um, we came in. Uh, over here is just where I hang other ut uh, utility tools. My ironing board, um, broom, duster, uh, a fly swatter I see. Um, that sort of stuff uh, over here. Okay, and then below the uh, um, washer, I mean not the washer, the um, ironing board, is a plant stand. And then on that plant stand I have my cat's uh, food bowl. She had her own uh, food and water bowl, but she never drank from the water bowl. She prefers my dog's water bowl for some reason. So finally did away with that and now she just has her food bowl here. I chose this type of stand uh, because she needed her bowl raised slightly uh, to keep my dog from eating the cat food. Okay, so then over here is where the dog uh, is fed and watered. Okay, and then these are both located right here next to the sink. <clears throat> and so I can fill, refill their water and everything right here. Um, and then above that is where I hold all the pet supplies, which I will do Still plan on doing a pet organizing video, but uh, you can kind of see that area. I have their food there so I can uh, reach their bowls real easy. Okay, and then below here is um, my cleaning basket. It's a 31 basket, just in case you ask, and it's where I hold all my um, cleaning supplies. And then over here is a plastic bag dispenser, and that's where I put... Um, rags that um, I don't mind getting rid of if I have to, such as um, these are just like uh, cut up um, t-shirts, that sort of thing. <clears throat> and then the cabinet next to the pet uh, cabinet is where I hold uh, linens, my base, mainly kitchen linens, um, right here. These are just uh, dish towels and cloths, flower sack, cloths, um, extra dish cloths, things like that, and some paper towels extra paper towels and then over here um, because I do not have custody full custody of our guest room um, which I still plan to do a video on that we have to kind of go through a process when we have guests but um, it works for now these are our guest bathrobes and so I choose to just store those in here uh, as opposed to with all the other stuff that um, they get so um, I, I will eventually turn that into um, extra towels and sheets and things, but uh, for now that's in there. This is basically the countertop. I don't know if uh, you saw kind of the layout, so there's washer and dryer. <clears throat> um, on the countertop, it gives me extra workspace if I need it, which I don't use that much, but um, it's mainly decorative, clothespins. I do have dog treats. This is my eye robot. This is actually the best gift I've ever gotten, I think. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. It mops my floor. Um, it also does a dry dusting of the floor for me if I need to, but I mainly use it for mopping. Um, and I just love it. I don't know how I lived without it. <clears throat> um, and then just some decor. Then underneath the cabinet, underneath the countertop, is basically my um, kind of my indoor garage or 
you know, indoor house necessities, I guess. This just houses um, basic little tools. Um, nothing, you know, I'm not going to add a second floor, obviously, with these. But uh, I can fix a loose screw or hang a picture or whatever. Um, and then over here are some tools, uh, little, you know, nails and screws and things like that. Um, my command hooks, because I use a lot of those. And uh, the little alcohol wipes to clean the backs. If, you, if you've used those, you know you have to do that. Um, some little felt pads that I put under everything. And um, the little electrical outlet covers. Speaking of those um, little feet tabs, like I said, I use them on everything. I have them on the bottom of my baskets here so that they don't scratch up my um, washer. And you can do that on furniture and, and everything. So um, that, I use a lot of those. And then this is my little paint. Um, I call this my touch-up center. It has all the all the paints that I have here in all the rooms. Um, it has those colors in each little, um, you know, jar. And these are just uh, leftover bouillon cubes and bouillon crystals. I make a lot of soups, so I use that a lot. Plus, it went perfectly with, you guessed it, my blue painter's tape. So, um, uh, let's see, in here also I keep a little thing of rubber gloves. Uh, disposable rubber gloves and then I also have the stain markers for uh, fixing you know scratches on wood and that sort of stuff and then my paint paddle okay and then um, over here is next to my wa uh, dryer and washer I have lint brushes um, a pair of glasses so I can read those teeny tiny labels and um, scissors for cutting threads tags that sort of stuff laundry marker and then these are the accessories and pads to my iRobot um, which you know, I'll keep close to that. Okay, and then coming down below that are my um, sorting bins. And these are on rollers. These are base, These come from Home Depot. Had my husband install these. These typically go under a kitchen sink. But um, the little can comes out. And you can dump that straight into your washer. Or that's what I do anyway. And then I put the little can back and push it back in. Um, so I just love those. And uh, I sort them, I don't know if I already said this, red, whites, blues, or darks. Um, a lot of blue jeans and dark clothing that uh, I usually have more of. So I have two um, bins full up for those. And then up here is that cabinet that I said I have um, more items for my uh, uh, washing machine. So I keep the bleach. And these are extra um, spray and washes. Other cleaning items, household cleaning items. A funnel to refill some of the soap dispensers and things that we have here. Um, and then extra dryer sheets and one type items are on these um, little, uh, you know, the turntables that I use a lot. And then some extra um, type items up there. Okay, then coming back down to where the soap's at. Down here is my battery and flashlight area. Um, the flashlights that we have are all in here. I'd like to get a little... Uh, divider have decided or figured out what I want to do there. I'll probably put that on the blog site um, This is the battery bin um, It's a sectioned off little um, Container obviously I need more batteries. I usually do keep this pretty full But obviously we've used a lot of batteries and haven't changed it yet um, This is an all 100 tip actually um, She's got a great site under here um, is my large cans of paint for the home and um, that's what I get my refills for my little paint, uh, my little touch-up center. Um, okay, so, and then um, as far as accommodating my pets, a lot of times when we have company and I don't want my animals, my animals think that we have company just for them. They want to be in their laps and get all the attention. And so, you know, I let them say hi and be with them for a little bit, but then sometimes I need to put them up if they just can't leave the company alone. So... I will put them in this room because they have all their accommodations in here. They have uh, their bed. They like to share that bed. And then they have their food and their restroom area in here as well. So um, I will sometimes put them in here while we are visiting. So that is my laundry room. I hope it helps you um, <clears throat> get your or, uh, or, uh, laundry room organized. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video and have even mentioned that you're in the process of it. So I hope it's not too late. Uh, that you get this. All right. Bye, my friends. Let me know if you use any tips at all in here and how they work for you. Bye now.